Red Sox acquired Franklin Morales from the Colorado Rockies last May in exchange for cash only. At the time, it seemed like it might be the Rockies giving up on someone who had been an uh, elite pitching prospect, a starting pitching prospect just a few years before that. But by the same token, if you had looked at any of his performances as of late and the injury problems that he had had, at the s you know, th there could be an argument for giving up on him. Uh, at the same time, though, uh, Colorado's in a weird position because they're, they play at altitude, and Morales' pitches don't work as well there, and as a young left-handed pitcher, uh, there generally are a lot of problems coming up and being able to spot uh, his pitches with proper command and control. The Red Sox acquired him in May, kept him in the bullpen full-time at first in 2011, where he had arguably the best season that he had had, even though he was in relief instead of starting. And uh, this year, due to shoulder inflammation in Josh Beckett, He's had two starts in which he's pitched wonderfully, and he's also had two long appearances coming in in relief as they prepared to stretch him out to be a spot starter instead of the setup man that he began the season as. Now, Morales has done so well that the Red Sox have moved to his six-man rotation until the All-Star break, uh, both to compensate for the schedule, some tiring starters, the injuries, and to give someone like Morales more of a chance to shine. Uh, Morales was a serious, elite-level pitching prospect that people used to drool over, uh, with just multiple plus pitches, a fastball that hit the high 90s consistently, a curveball with wicked break on it, and a changeup that was good, uh, but paled in comparison to what the other two could do. He's got all those pitches still, and he's able to locate them much better than he ever was able to at any point in the majors or minors with the Rockies, and he doesn't have altitude to contend with anymore. Uh, there's a good chance that he won't be as good as he's been. He's been ridiculous lately. He has 24 strikeouts against one walk in his last... Uh, 60, 16 bendings pitched, and I mean that's absurd. Uh, that's part of the reason his numbers look so good, but it's just not something that you can expect him to repeat. He doesn't have to to be useful though. Uh, he could be a viable fifth starter for the Red Sox. He could be that starter they expected Daniel Bard to be, and he still has two years of team control left as well. He's only being paid $850,000 this year, so his arbitration raise will not be that hefty, and he would give them another inexpensive starting option along with, assuming things continue to go the way they've gone, Felix Dubron.